so glad to see you guys. Um, well, you know, not see you, but check back in. It's been a while. It's been a long while. So I wanted to come hop on, get back into the groove of the YouTube community and say hi. Uh, I miss you guys. Um, I hope that you guys had a beautiful holiday and a marvelous new year. Um, I kind of got lost in the wedding slash holiday slash new year mayhem. So I am back. I wanted to start by telling you that I'm going to do a, a hashtag that Miranda Weber started and it is set plan and crush scrappy goals 2020. So um, it's going to be a minute. There's like 10 little questions that I'm going to do. So um, just be prepared. It's going to be a couple minutes, probably 10, at least 10 closer to 20, you know how I like to talk. And um, so grab yourself a cup of coffee. This is my new coffee that I got at my bridal shower. It says wifey. And we got one that said hubby and we took him with us on our honeymoon. So yeah, um, let me update you on life and then we'll get started with the, the questions. So the wedding was November 24th and it was amazing. Everything went beautifully and um, I have a couple of pictures I'm going to post now. went off without a hitch. We got married November 24th. And then the following Saturday, we um, got on a cruise ship in Miami and left for seven days. And we went to the Western Caribbean. And it was amazing. And we definitely um, learned a lot about cruise life. Um, we didn't realize the amount of food that we would be consuming. And that was, um, that was just overwhelming. So and then we came back and it was like full blown Christmas mode. Um, we had to do the tree and all of those things. So it's just been super crazy. I feel like I'm finally catching my breath. Um, and that's good since we're in the middle of January. Um, took me a little bit, you know, two months maybe. So um, this is my little friend here, my sloth. You see, I love sloths. So this is my friend. Um, my husband actually got him for me for Christmas, and then my kids got this one. Isn't he so cute? Anyway, so that's this is my chair. I'm sitting in my bedroom um, and just kind of chilling and chatting with you guys. So I would love to hear how your holiday went and if you had any travel things or any exciting things that happened. So I'm a mess this morning. My hair is like, what? I'm trying to do like this... Um, Thing. I only wash my hair every like two, three days, um, which is brutal, brutal. I'm used, I'm used to washing it all the time. So anyways, I'm long winded. Sorry. It's already been a few minutes. So, um, I wrote down my questions here, um, in my planner. So I thought I would just go over them and kind of chat with you about 2020. I'm super excited. I'm super excited about, um, things coming here on my YouTube channel. And I'm just super happy that, the wedding is over and I can settle into normal life. So set, plan, and crush scrappy goals 2020, hashtag SPCSG2020. So um, if you have, if you search for that hashtag, you'll find other videos from other scrapbookers. So if you're looking for other scrapbookers to follow, that's a good way to do it. So the first question is the fav my favorite item that I used in 2020. Okay, so I love mixed media and if you have watched any videos on my channel you know that I love mixed media um so I was introduced to the Lindy's powders this year through hip kit club and I have amassed quite a collection of Lindy's as you can see here um so these were super fun uh let's see 
I don't know that there's one color that I particularly love more than the others. What I love about the magical powders though is that there's many colors inside. So you may sprinkle this and add water and you may see this may be like a denim, but you're gonna see like pinks and all sorts of colors. So this was one of my favorite items that I used in, 20, in 2019. And um, I just really like mixed media. So most of my mixed media supplies were um, my top favorites. Uh, what new item did you use in 2020? No, in 2019. Did I like it or not? So I guess that would be it. That's new. And that was my favorite um, item. And I really liked it. There are some that I didn't, that were hard because I had to learn to uh, mix it. So I have to sprinkle it on my packaging add the water and use my brush and mix it or I would get like colors that I might not necessarily want in my layout and I had that happen on one page and I had to kind of redo the background so that is one thing I really like them though that's the one I guess downfall to them so anyways my least favorite item of 2019 I have everything here so if you see me like bend down that's what I'm going to get are these so I got a set of the Silhouette pens and I just can't get the hang of them. So if you have any tips or you have any YouTubers that do really well with these sketch pens, please, please let me know because I literally just struggled. I just kind of like put them back in the box and said good riddance. So. Um, that was my least favorite item. And I did get a Cameo 4 for Christmas for my hubby. And it came with a set of pens for the four. So I'm willing to give it a try. But I just was not digging it. I guess just because I it's new and I didn't get the hang of it. Um, sorry, I'm fidgeting with my shirt. But it's like my neck is stretched out. And I never, I, this is the first time I've worn it. Anyways, I, dig I digress. Uh, favorite layout. Okay, so I'm cheating here because I have so many favorite layouts. So I chose a favorite album. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's, I couldn't pick one. So I'm, I'm doing this wedding slash engagement album and I did some pages with our engagement pictures and I just love them. So I'm gonna share them here. I'm gonna also post a close up of them so that you can see them. And there's a YouTube video for each one of these. So if you're interested in looking at, um, the process please just click on my channel and look at the videos and they're by the name so you can find them like that this is the first one create beautiful love and these are black and whites that was my first favorite and then this one all the feels so that was my second this is all the same album and then gather lovely memories This is the one, this is the background that I had to kind of like uh, redo. And then the sweet life. So if you are interested in looking at any of these processes for these pages, just click in my videos and you will find all of them there, the process videos. So that was my favorite layouts in 2019. Okay, favorite collection. Super hard, super hard choice because I just love scrap supplies. So I love Paige Evans. I love Pink Paisley. I love Crate Paper. I really, really like the Dear Lizzie She's Magic collection. That was a favorite. But I'm going to go with my surprise favorite. My surprise favorite, which I ordered this line from a cherry on top, and I um, was not sure because it's kind of like, vintage themes, vintage pictures themed, and I don't really have that many vintage pictures, but I used it and absolutely fell in love with the colors. And it is the Heritage Line by Maggie Holmes and Crate Paper. So I was gonna show you the chipboard, but I used some of it. And if you're looking for the layout I created with these the missing pieces, they, um, 
it's in my also in my videos it's a layout and a project life spread for the month of march but the colors in this sorry i'm like bending down in front of your face all the time but i can't hold coffee and do this but the colors in this are amazing there's like a wood grain this is this shows like a wide variety of colors and I really love, like, so this blush peachy color is so good. And this purple is like a plum, but not too bright. So, oh my gosh, so good. And this colonial blue. I just really fell in love with the colors. And the mustard. I'm not a fan of the vintage kind of pictures, but I like the back. So yeah, I really, it was a surprise favorite. And that's always fun to find something that you think that you're not gonna like, and then you work with it and you're like obsessed. And that's kind of what happened with me. I am obsessed with this line. So that was my favorite collection and or designer for 2019. So those are the five questions based on the past year. The rest of the questions are based on 2020. And I'm gonna move this in front of me so I'm not constantly looking over. So one of my scrappy goals. Well, my 2019 word was finish. And I felt like I was doing a lot of things and not doing them well or to completion. I was starting a lot of things but not finishing them. So I really made gains in that area and I would like to continue to do that. So my scrappy goal, one scrappy goal is the, my one little word, which I always do. So my one little word is definitely on the list. My word for this year is space. And I've been diligently working on this already the first couple weeks of this year. And I'm going to share more about that on my channel. I might do more face to faces. We'll see. We'll see. I do want to share about this this word with you. So I definitely want to keep up with my one little word. And I definitely want to do my project life. So I'm going to do it monthly. And um, I want to share it with you guys. I want to use I want to use my time wisely. And the one thing that I love about doing project life on a monthly basis is that then I am free to scrapbook only the pictures that I really want to scrapbook. When I'm not documenting the month, I feel like there's this pressure to document everything in a layout. And then I'm not inspired. Like I get pictures and I'm like, eh, I don't really feel this. Well, I can put those, eh, I don't really feel this pictures in my monthly spread and then only scrap the memories that I really wanna narrow in on. So those are the two things that I really wanna keep up with this year. What item would you like to use more in 2020? And hands down, I'm gonna say my silhouette. So I used it frequently, but I would like to learn how to use it well. Um, there is so much, I have the four, so there's the pic scan on it. I really wanna learn how to do that. I want to be more savvy with my silhouette. So that's definitely something I want to do. Uh, what new product or technique would you like to try in 2020? Okay, so this one was tough for me. Um, I use a lot of different things, so I definitely want to use my stamps more. Um, especially my big background stamps and my alpha stamps. That's it, my alpha stamps. It's not a new product, but and it's not a new technique. <laughs> it's just something that I need to work more on. I have so many alphabet stamps. If I, they're like within my reach. If I reach right out, I can grab the basket that my alpha stamps are in and I would, you would just be like, what? And I don't use them. I don't use them like I should. So I wanna use my alphabet stamps more. How many layouts do you have for your 2020 goal? Mm, this one's tough. Since I don't really do, since I do the project life, um, I document a lot through that. I, okay, I'm a very slow scrapper. So how about if I say 50? I know, very small number, very small. But I'm going to say 50 because I am not on design teams right now. I am getting 
I don't have the wedding, which should free me up to do more, but I am a slow scrapper and there are periods of time that I don't get a lot done. So I'm going to just go with 50, keep it doable to 50. Okay. Hold me to it, which means I need to be posting on Facebook. I mean, on YouTube more. And then what is one YouTube goal you have for 2020? So I have been really contemplating my channel and how to dig more um, into what's available here on YouTube and use it, um, you know, in my story. So I definitely want to, to be more active. I was doing really well and then the wedding came and it just like pittered out. It's like this little piece of fuzz blowing around, sorry. <laughs> Um, so I definitely want to commit to uploading at least once a week, um, whether it's um, one of the projects I'm working on, 15 Minute Friday, whatever the case may be. I definitely want to do that. Here are some things. So I, I am at, I don't even know how many subscribers I have right now, but I would definitely love to have a thousand by this time next year. So that's a lot a lot it's a big jump but I know that if I'm consistently posting and consistently sharing and actively involved that I can do it so that is my goal that's a high goal I don't know okay I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it second guessing myself so here are some ideas that I have for 2020 and I would love to hear your thoughts I would love for you to tell me what you are seeking when you watch videos are you looking for 10 minute, 20 minute videos, 40 minute videos, what do you like? Um, is there content that you would like to see? I would love to hear from you. Um, here are the ideas that I have for my channel in 2020. One is obviously keeping up with one little word and I wanna post on that once a month. So hopefully the last week of the month, I will post my one little word project for the month and I'll do, um, Generally, I don't know, sometimes I'll do a process video, but sometimes I'll just walk you through it and we'll talk. Maybe we'll do a chit chat, a one little word chit chat at the end of the month. Um, I want to do a monthly project life spread. So, you know, the beginning of the next month, so the beginning of February, I want to do the spread for January and stay on top of that. Um, because if I get behind, then I just lose, lose it. Um, and then one thing that I was curious and I think I'm going to implement is um, one Pinterest inspired page a month. So I'm going to go on Pinterest, find some ideas that kind of spark my creativity and go with it and then post that process video once a month. Um, I'm going to try to come up with a schedule. I think my cat is like trying to knock down my door. Yes, she is. She is nuts. I'm sorry, I got distracted. So Pinterest page. So I'm going to go on Pinterest, find an idea that inspires me and do a layout based on that once a month. So those are my ideas. Um, I am starting another Instagram. So you can find me at Christy Amber. I'm also starting one called One Sentence 2020. So my blog is called One Sentence um, for many reasons, but I am telling my story one sentence, one day. So every day I'm posting a picture and a sentence, dear whatever. Um, and then at the end of the month, I'm hoping to have them all printed in one, maybe 12 by 12, print them out and on the back with the sentences and just document that. I just thought that would be fun, um, get a glimpse of my life um, throughout the year. So as soon as I have that up and running, I've worked on it so far but I have some things I need to tweak on it I will share that here on my YouTube channel and link it for you below so I live in a crazy house just so you know so we have a my daughter's dog is here he likes to stay in my room and right now he decided he was hungry so he's eating so I'm sure you can hear him crunching in the background then I have my kitten slash cat who's on the porch basically digging at the sliding glass door to try to get in but she's locked out because she's been misbehaving so she's on our porch she's food water litter box she's fine but 
she just decided she was gonna try to paw the door down. So anyways, welcome to my life. Um, pets and kids and etc. So that is my scrappy plans for 2020, a follow through on 2019. And I am so glad you tuned in. I'm so glad to have you a part of my community. If you're curious and interested to see where this year takes me, scrapbooking, etc., please subscribe. I would love for you to subscribe. Hit the thumbs up, the like button, and um, that way you let me know and YouTube know that you like this video. And I would love for you to become a part of my community and become a subscriber. I hope you guys are well. Happy New Year. A little bit late, but Happy New Year nonetheless. And let's kick those goals butts. See you soon. Bye.